Okay, so I wanted to get on here quickly to sort of clarify a few things happening today in regards to iOS releases. I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to the next iOS 18 betas, but Apple today has actually issued an update for iOS 17 devices, iOS 17.6.1. And if that sounds familiar, it's because this is a re-release of the software that Apple released. I want to say, I think it's 11 days ago. So a little over a week, Apple released iOS 17.6.1. And today we get a re-release of this software update. And I wanted to share some details with you guys, talk about the expected release for the next iOS 18 betas and why we have a re-release for this software update. So 17.6.1 iPad OS 17.6.1, TV OS 17.6.1, and Watch OS 10.6.1 are all available as of today. So even if you already updated your device to iOS 17.6.1, you can head on over into settings, go to software update, and the new re-release version should be available for you. Now, Apple released this software update, this minor iOS 17 software update, to address an issue with advanced data protection. Some users were not able to enable advanced data protection. I had some issues as well where I couldn't enter my password and it wouldn't activate the advanced data protection. However, something very interesting happened after the release of iOS 17.6.1, a little over a week ago, Apple sort of pulled a software update and then later reinstating the software update. And now today, they actually re-released it alongside iPadOS, tvOS, and watchOS 10.6.1. Now, if you're having advanced data protection issues where you couldn't activate this on your device, once you update, you should be able to go into the iCloud settings here on your iPhone. And if you had issues again with advanced data protection, you can now go ahead and enable the advanced data protection on your device with the re-release of iOS 17.6.1. So just to be clear, 17.6.1 has been re-released today. So even if you already update to the software, you can install the re-release as of right now, obviously, if you're running iOS 17. And now the software update comes with a bill number 21G101, and that is the latest bill number for 17.6.1 the release or re-release today. Now, you guys have been asking, where's iOS 18 betas? So what's going to happen with iOS 18? And well, it looks like since Apple did have to release a 17.6.1 re-release today, the betas will most likely become available later during the week. So today is Monday the 19th. I would expect iOS 18 beta 7 to be released sometime towards the week of the 19th. So this week, perhaps maybe tomorrow on the 20th, we could see the 7th beta for iOS 18, so just keep in mind that today we get official software release, and later in the week, we'll most likely get iOS 18, developer beta 7, most likely dropping again uh, tomorrow, I wanna say on the 20th or throughout the week uh, of this upcoming week here. So just to clarify, just to make everyone aware that the new software update is now available for iPhone, iPad, tvOS, and Apple Watch, so you can go ahead and update your devices to iOS 17.6.1 right now to address some of those advanced data protection issues. And there you guys have it, just a quick update. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.